and a strike toward the outer half. One ball, one strike. Of course, Lane's older brother is Justin Adams, who may have the home run record for the Toombs County Bulldogs. He had a bunch of them. He's in the Navy, of course, graduated from the Naval Academy back in May as the pitch misses away. He's down in Panama City. He is a support, I guess, person for the Navy SEALs, but I guess considered a Navy SEAL. They had a push-up contest the other day. Ball is lined over the shortstop's head and into left field for a base hit, and now it gets away from the left fielder. Lane Adams, though, will put on the brakes quickly and stop at first base with a single in his fourth hit of the season. McGow on the batter, Meadows on deck. Anyway, this is an unbelievable number of push-ups to do in two minutes. Justin did more than 146. 146 was the record. He did, I don't know how many, 147, 148. Even Cassie from Jeff Davis can't do that many in two minutes. And they're at bats. It's way too many. Curveballs hit left side, bouncing through for a base hit, and that'll drive in a run as Tyler now has five runs batted in. And the Bulldogs have a 3 nothing lead on their second hit of the first inning. Look at the batter. Swings and hits this ball hard to center field. Robinson coming in, catches the ball. Runner third will tag. And here comes Tyler Luke to the plate and scoring the Bulldogs' fourth run as Nick Curtis drives in his second run of the season. Beverly the batter. Next pitch, swing and a hard hit ball right up the middle for a base hit. Scooped up by Robinson, runner to third and stopping there, and he makes a good throw. Now Beverly takes a big turn. He's in trouble, goes back to first base, and is just safe with a feet first slide. Allen Beverly with his first hit, now one for 11 on the season. Probably going to miss at least a month of the regular season. That other player with the flu, Jordan Schaefer. There's a curve ball that bounces away. Runner breaking in from third. Here comes Brandon Helton, and he beats the throw without a slide and scores the dog's seventh run of the ball game here in the first inning. Runner down to third. Count one ball and two strikes on Logan McGowan. So D.R. Meadows will have a big lead going to the second. The problem is, after pitching his four up and three down, He's been sitting for a long time. One, two pitch, poke left side, rolling down the line. That is a fair ball, and that's going to be a base hit. Infield hit, scores a run. McGowan driving in one for the Bulldogs, who now lead eight zip. So he's in scoring position for DR. Trying to extend his hitting streak to four. Trey Cone comes set, two down, runner at third, first pitch. Was a ball, this one hit into left field for a base hit. DR drives out a run. First of the season, he had nine RBIs no, last year, so 10 in his varsity career. And it's nine zip. <laughs> Meadows running on the pitch and it's low and they'll let him go. Two balls, two strikes. As Tyler Luke will step back in. Of course, he's a catcher and a third baseman in addition to being a pitcher today. He's playing third. DR breaking on the pitch, coming to third. The ball's lined by the shortstop into left field. Meadows will score easily. And Tyler Luke has two RBI hits in the first inning. And the Dogs have put up a 10 spot for 14. Trey Cohn delivering the pitch. George swings and misses, strike three. Now he's tagged out by the catcher. And that is out number three, but the dogs get real busy. Trying to win their first game of the season, and they score 10 runs in the first inning. 10 nothing Bulldogs leading as we go to the top of the second on Y101. Got to cut down on his turnovers. Not shoot the ball so much and miss. Swing and a miss at a curveball that gets away. Dalton McBride goes over near the fence, picks it up, and throws it over to first to complete a strikeout out. DR with three Ks. You got out rebound Kentucky again. You out rebounded Kentucky by Robinson double digits without your Boy. best rebounder in Lexington. And they have Giants. 
This will be a game that everybody all across the country is talking about. The Georgia Bulldogs beating Kentucky. One, two pitches hit up high into the air in the right field. Logan McGowan going back and over to his left and reaches up and makes the catch. So if you care anything about your Georgia Bulldogs, I know it's not football, but it's still Georgia. You need to be watching ESPN tonight, 9 o'clock. 2-2 two, two pitch from DR. Ooh, called strike three, outside edge. That was a perfect pitch. And DR gets two more strikeouts. He has four in the game, and he gets a three up and three down. As the Bulldogs have built up a 10-0 lead as we go to the bottom half of the second inning on Y101. And his crouch, 1-0 pitch. And the Bulldogs throw a strike toward the outer half. One ball, one strike. Aside from Noah Anderson, he's been catching for the B team. Here's a pitch. It's a strike. One ball, two strikes. He also pitched the other day, pitched well in the first game of the Appling doubleheader that the B team Bulldogs lost 3-2. to two. The second game ended in a tie, 5-5 five, five after four. Swing and a missed strike three. DR struck out four, and now Nick Taylor struck out one. One ball, two strikes, one down. Bulldogs leading 10-0. We're at the top of the third inning. Here's the pitch. Called strike three. Nick with back-to-back -back Ks. Listen on a computer. Swing and a miss strike three. That's a three up and three down with three Ks for Nick Taylor in the top of the third inning. Bulldog pitchers have struck out seven so far. And the Dogs lead Johnson 10-0. As we take a break, you're listening to Bulldog Baseball on Y101. Score five, and the game will be over here in the bottom half of the third. So we will play a little more than an hour. But it takes five runs. Christian Conley is an outfielder for the Toombs County Bulldogs. Here's the pitch. Always been a good hitter. Hits this ball squarely into right field. The right fielder broke in. Now he went back, and the ball's over his head, and he slips and slides, picks up the ball. Conley racing to second, has a double as a dog score a run as Jake Davis hits home plate. Double in an RBI. Bulldogs lead 11 zip. Luke in the first inning had two RBI singles. So already two for two on his day. Third at bat. One, two pitch, swings and hits this one up high into the air to right field. Got a good piece of it. Right fielder reaches up, makes a catch, and that'll score a run on the sacrifice fly. Tyler reaching out to hit that ball to the backside. Probably didn't have good balance on his swing, but still strong enough to drive it that deep and pick up his third RBI of the game seventh of the season. Stevens the batter. And Bryce Harrison's going to hit. Harrison, the batter, one out. This will be his first varsity at bat. One down, runners on first and second. Here's the pitch. Bouncing off the glove, runners to second and third. Dogs leading 12 to nothing at Jackie Jones. It's a completely different game than the one they were involved in on Friday, which was 1-1 in extra innings. Playing Islands, also from the Coastal Empire. Ball's hit right up the middle and a base hit for Bryce Harrison. That'll score one dog, but that's it. Brandon Helton to home plate. Johnson has been run ruled by Bryan County 17 to nothing. Pierce 16 to one and Dodge 15 to one. Three one pitch, chases one out of the zone. Way up there, three and two. Runners on second and third and one down. Noah Anderson in the on-deck circle for the Toombs County Bulldogs. 3-2 pitch, lifted up in the air. Right behind second base, will anybody get to it? Center fielder reaches, not able to catch it. And the Bulldogs will score the run to end the ball game. Dogs win it 15-zip. Beverly will get an RBI and a two for three day. 